Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam, and today we are going to be talking about the World Telangana Convention, which is going to be happening at the George R. Brown Convention Center on June 29th, 30th, and July 1st, 2018. And I have three special guests uh, to my right is uh, Mala Makala, is that right? And next to him is uh, Narendra uh, Reddy, yeah. ne and next to him is uh, Arvind. Next to him is uh, Arvind and uh, gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media and uh, we are going to be talking about the business forum. So, Malla, maybe you can, you know, tell us, uh, you know, what are the different types of business uh, topics we're going to be having at the business forum. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Nick. <laughs> and uh, I'm leading the business uh, forum at this conference. And in the business forum, we want to really make it uh, more useful for whoever attends the conference. It is... The primary goal of the conference is to go and educate and inform most of the attendees out here about how to go ahead and then do business here in the United States, especially. And at the same time, how can we really go ahead and be a part of some of the investment in Telangana? So just like we can say, like uh, exchanging and interchanging the business. Yes. Some something is uh, available in US and some some part is available in uh, Telangana, India. So once we sit and what we are here, what what is there, something we can when we are discussing and we can make something positiveness. So, Arvind, maybe you can talk about uh, you know there are a lot of people who are well established here in business, but also would like to do business back home in Telangana, mm -hmm. and maybe you can talk about that and how. We were talking about the politicians and how they can be facilitators in promoting business uh, back home in Telangana. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dr. Nick. <laughs> yes, definitely. I would like to pitch in like, yes, once upon a time, if you go back like five years, 10 years, it was hard to do business back in India. <laughs> now India has opened its arms wide open and you can do business whichever way you wanted, whichever segment you are interested. And uh, this is the platform where we would like to educate people how to do business back in India and there will be uh, political uh, political people, not only political people as well as business people from India coming over to this convention so we can exchange ideas. And one of the ideas we have is we would like to build our young entrepreneurs. This this plat this is a platform where we, we could share the ideas. Maybe someone would like your idea back in India and they will start investing you or it's vice versa. You know, since you brought up the topic of uh, young entrepreneurs, maybe we should talk Stardust. about uh, teenagers and kids yes, uh, right here in the United a, States. You know, as we uh, have a program for that. Is that right? Uh, yeah, maybe we, we can talk about it. <laughs> we definitely have a program for that. There is an organization in the United States, a uh, non-profit organization called DECA. Mm -hmm. And what DECA does is, is for high school kids. Mm -hmm. It's primarily for high school kids. Yeah. They want to prepare them for business. So they want to really let them know how the real yeah. business world works. And they have a lot of workshops, and it's mm -hmm. very human. I say it's so amazingly popular in the United States. I see. Yeah. So what we are doing is, mm -hmm. so some of our, uh, mm -hmm. you know, children out here, they are very actively involved with Deca. Mm -hmm. So one of them is going to be has really come up, and she is taking up the responsibility mm -hmm. of uh, chairing I see, that yeah. particular event, and one whole segment, one whole I see, uh, yeah. afternoon yeah. is going to be given to them. Hmm. And just pardon me a little bit. I just want to make sure I get her name right, you know, so that you can have her name because I have that uh, definitely slotted out properly. And she belongs to a prominent businessman out here in Houston. Mm -hmm. His name is Raj Chapidi. Yeah. His daughter is the one who's actually offered to go and help us out. And because she's one of the finalists at the DECA event, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, she's going to do that. And her name is Sri Chapidi. Oh, it's Sri Chapidi. Person, yeah. Sri Chapidi. Yes, doing and uh, the program name will be. Leadership skills that look good on your resume, and uh, you know how you can you know really go ahead and you know make the most of the clubs you enjoy. Absolutely, because you know in 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 this country you know it's not just grades <laughs> that matters. It's you know there are so many other things, extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. especially public speaking and communication languages, and all these things are important and. Uh, so I that think is, I, <laughs> that is very true with even uh, you know yeah. even in India nowadays. I see. Yeah. Because see, when <laughs> we grew up, 
the opportunities were very we were called book bookworms yeah. that's all that's all you had to be yeah <laughs> but right now in india also the opportunities hmm. have increased so many so much <laughs> challenge yeah, yeah no the thing is right now they are also pretty much they are looking forward to go and see how can they improve their uh, communication how can they really go and speak up you know, all these things you know cultural barriers have really gone down a lot in india nowadays so the thing is what we are hoping for and my you know hope of including this high school and middle school kids to perform in a business forum event which has never been done before in any event you know like this here the main reason for me to do that is so that we could really have our younger kids join us not only culturally they would come to the conference they they are a part of it and they really like it they are not just here to just enjoy the cultural stuff enjoy the food and go but now they are actually seriously participating in some in an event you know along with the with their uh, you know I, I, absolutely because uh, i i think uh, you know I, i was in toastmasters for four years and yeah, uh, i'm a distinguished toastmaster which is the highest award uh, yeah. and i was the president of the unity toastmasters which is one of the largest yes, the, the, toastmasters yeah. club i learned so much in those four years in toastmasters that i hadn't learned in 25 years of going to medical school a high college and all these things absolutely i think that's one of the things i would recommend for anybody who is interested in communication skills is to become a member of the toastmasters club because it is almost a very accelerated process of learning public speaking communication speaking on the spur of the moment and yeah. adding humor around mm-hmm. to inspire people motivate and all kinds of stuff <laughs> yeah uh, okay uh, this one is also like a, i would say in a, in a short and sweet it's a, like a science fair where you have your kids go present your skills and yes. there you can find a mentor there where they can mold them the kids the young growing kids most importantly it's a, an opportunity for them to network. Yeah, network so you meet people get mm-hmm. their phone numbers get their email addresses mm-hmm. so you can communicate mm-hmm. with them and and move to the next level <laughs> oh, so you were going to say something <laughs> yeah basically i want to tell one thing this convention is dedicated, dedicated to raithera as a program yeah so other uh, when we are talking about the business there are a lot of different different areas so everybody is somewhat awareness of the business example uh, it software you, you might know this last from the 90s uh, our uh, uh, big uh, mnc's like uh, tcs wipro infosys etc yeah. i mean all the people they really doing very excellent job so mm. they are very good in that area yeah. ag- again also we have to uh, encourage the startups and other entrepreneurs also that's true, that's, yeah. that's uh, one area and when we are talking about in uh, financial domains the real estate domains automobile domains we have to improve all those those areas absolutely so, yes and also about the particularly about the, we are talking about raithe razu so we want to, we are inviting the texas couple of universities university of chancellors professors and deans and technical people as well as we are inviting from the adabad jnt university agriculture university mm-hmm. so most of the delegates so, you so both people, yeah yes. we are connecting the people so discuss and what we can what they can so something i mean given and take Absolutely, a progress you know, you, of course you said this whole function then is dedicated to right a raju which is uh, like former is the king mm-hmm. and we had other people on the program yeah, talk about it uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes well, at least during the convention <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> they no. will be oh, we, we, we are totally i mean agri- agriculture based great way for uh, you know scholars from texas a&m university connect with the scholars from uh mm-hmm. hyderabad mm-hmm. and telangana and also more importantly connect with the politicians because as i said to get anything done i think it helps a great yes. deal if we can know the politicians and and lay down the the important agenda so that we can get something accomplished in a very short order <laughs> so, so we are going to have different uh, the, the topics as such you know in the business forum we are going to have a have a segment it is going to be like a two day event mm-hmm. and uh, both on uh, 30th and 1st on 30th and 1st what we are going to have is we are going to we are going to go and publish the program on the internet mm-hmm. and we hope that everybody can really take a look at it and choose their program and attend the programs because we are going to have some very very prominent guests as such and we're going to have a chief guest who's going to speak during one of the uh, segments as such and uh, also what we really intend to do in this one is we are going to 
have segments on real estate mm-hmm. they're going to have a segment on uh, retail mm-hmm. businesses and these are primarily for the, people, for, the, yeah. for the people in us because they are the one who is going to attend more in mm-hmm. numbers mm-hmm. and we really want to make their attendance their time Absolutely. you know more worthwhile yeah. worthwhile yeah. for yeah. them mm-hmm. so so that is then why we put a real estate you know mm-hmm. seminar because they can really yeah. understand how to invest in real estate both commercial uh, hotels motels mm-hmm. and as you know our community is very good in that area and we really want to pass it on to the younger folks that's and fascinating the, yeah and the second thing is you know we are going to have obviously in it all of us are pretty you know good right now yeah. and even for that we are going to have more like mergers and acquisitions mm-hmm. so one of the persons is going to come here he is going to speak about mergers and acquisitions especially and if there is a possibility if there's if there's a lot of people out there they have not decided that yet but you know there's a possibility that you know people can could make some good deals out there so it's like very very i would encourage a lot of the entrepreneurs you know who already have their own businesses to so, really attend the conference now now you bring up an important question so are you going to have a, like a contest or something and all these venture capitalists ready to open their pockets and say okay here you go 2 billion dollars <laughs> not 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 really because you know it's a really, platform they can this is initially we want to make this a platform yeah. it's a networking platform it's a networking platform pure networking see. platform yeah. we want to pay, we want people to work at their own pace have fun you know because those three days we really want them to relax and really have fun but at the same time provide them some good information and another thing what we are really trying very hard you know to work in uh, in unison with the immigration there is another another part of yeah. immigration so what we are trying to do is to go ahead and have like nowadays with all the visa difficulties which everybody is going through yeah. so what we are trying to do is how to how can we really make a concerted effort in terms of investment visas that's, that's uh, so how yeah. can we really help them understand the pitfall because right now if you really open the newspaper nowadays there are so many people advertising saying yes. that okay we are going to give you a eb5 visa right? yeah, yeah. you know and there are lot of dangers and pitfalls in that mm-hmm. you can lose oh, yeah. a lot of money that is true, yeah in fact we had uh, the representatives from the immigration group who who have come and talked so, on this topic so please do watch that video on our triple n media channel and it's a great way to know yeah. because you need to know more don'ts than do's <laughs> yes that's more important <laughs> and and the one thing you know which narender has pointed out very well is because it's a raithe raju program yeah. so even in the business segment what we really will do is we are going to not only bring awareness as an organic farming yeah but we are going to actually identify you know people are going to who are coming from india here they are going to really identify opportunities for people to really invest in india in organic farming so that they could, they could really help the citizens of india out there and also we are trying to bring in some good practices from india that's out yeah. here to grow indian vegetables here very well that's true. so that's what fascinating fascinating gentlemen it's uh, thank you so much for being on triple n media and uh, so those of you who are coming to the convention please do mark uh, the business forum where you can learn a lot and hopefully take something very useful to uh, prosper your business <laughs> and we will see you next time and please do subscribe to our youtube channel and thank you so much for watching i am dr nick nikam and we'll see you next time thank you dr yeah, nick thank you for thank you dr thank, thank you doctor you. and, and uh, again again yeah please go please go ahead and so please attend make your time and come and share your thoughts and uh, take something and give something and um, i would i would like to say that the uh, business forum is one of the forums we have so, so many other forums which you will get involved there is immigration there is literary and you name it there is every other form you will have fun we'll we'll make sure you'll have fun and it's a 3 day event june 29 30 and july 1st so mark your calendars and see you there thank you thank gentlemen you. it's been a pleasure talking to you and uh, we will see you next time and please do subscribe to our youtube channel thank